Hi, I'm Steve Harper, ex Newcastle United, Hull City, and many others, and you're watching Mariners TV. Graham, through to the next round, four clean sheets in a row as well. I guess those are the major positives to take from that. Yeah, lots. Um, sometimes on top of that, um, or we've managed to get a rest into a few lads um, today. Um, some lads with niggles who haven't been involved will have a little bit more recovery time. Um, some lads who haven't played much football recently have, have got plenty of minutes today um, and some of them done done pretty well so um, lots and lots of positives today Dan. I'm sure you won't want to talk too much about the pitch but it is difficult to play around the minute isn't it? I guess that does affect the game. It does. Um, you know they they like to play football a little bit as well so it affects their game so obviously if we, if we play against a more direct team who um, it doesn't affect as much it'll be a bit more of a problem but like you say they they try to play, um, so the pitch today can't be an excuse for anything. Not, not that it is because we won the game, but um, in terms of performance, we've just got to be able to deal with it. Um, we've kept another clean sheet, as you, as you said. We carved open some really good situations that we haven't managed to turn into clear-cut opportunities, which we need to look at, and that is not a, a pitch issue. That is, that is us, and that's something we need to work on. Um, so, yeah, there's, uh, like you say, lots of positives, but plenty, as always, there are plenty of things to work on. The winning goal scored by Robert Brady seems to be having a major impact at both ends of the pitch at the minute, wherever he plays. He does, yeah, Franco Brady. Um, so he's uh, he's doing he's doing brilliant, Briggsy. You know, you can rely on him. He's got a real high quality. He's he's, he's understanding the game. Um, is very very good. So you can drop him in anywhere. Um, and he's he's popped up with the uh, the moment of quality that's won the game. You mentioned Franco Brady there. Not the first time you've heard of Briggsy like that. But how impressed have you been with the way he's adapted to life at the back? Um, impressed, yeah. Not surprised though. Um, so yeah, you can play him. Uh, we've, we've utilised Briggsy in a wide area at times because he's uh, he can drift in between the lines from there. He's good at defending wide areas. Wherever he plays, he gives a huge quality on the ball. So um, yeah, like we're, we're, we're delighted with Briggsy at the moment. It came on because Matthew Wheeler come, come off in the first half. So a major shame for Matthew on his first start of the season. Yeah, yeah. Look, Matty hasn't played loads of football recently, and um, it was one that um, it was good to get Matty in the starting lineup. But it was almost like a, a bit of a forced one. Um, and yeah, it was disappointing to see him come off. You know, I think uh, if we if he'd have played longer, he would have felt his way into the game a little bit more. Um, but look, we've got to deal with these things. Um, I think there's a big thing in the, at the press at the minute about the amount of injuries at the top level, um, and there is because of the amount of game time that everybody's having to play. Um, I would suggest it's as bad at our level, or if not worse, because of the pitches we're having to play on. We're not playing on carpets like like those boys do. But um, yeah, like I said, it's something we deal with in there. We've obviously got the squad that we trust in that has uh, been proven today that we've uh, we've dropped a lot of lads in who haven't played recently and they've, they've done themselves uh, no harm. One of those players making his first appearance for this club for quite a while is Aaron Thompson. Are you pleased to have him back in there? In the yeah, so with? Aaron's one where the, the, he's really benefited from going out for a, a period on loan. Um, we obviously had a, a couple of updates off them saying they were happy with his performances, happy with his levels. Um, and the benefits of that are when we recall him back into the squad, he's in a good place to, to go and play 90 minutes. Um, and it's obviously great that, that Aaron's gone and picked up the, the man of the match trophy. And also, we mentioned the pitch there being not the best at the minute. Obviously, we're going to experience a lot of that during the winter as well. Is it good for the player to have this experience under the belt quite early in the season to get used yeah, to it? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, an unusual situation here um, at the first cloud. Um, but we've got our issues at the minute that we have to deal with. Is it is it beneficial for us later? I'm not so sure. Um, obviously, we'll have to get used to it and... and and play um, a different style at times, but um, yeah, look, we've uh, we've got some old heads in our our team and dressing room, and um, we'll uh, we'll manage to um, be versatile and adapt, and um, hopefully come out on the right side of the line um, as often as possible. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world at the minute about whether there might be another lockdown soon as well. Is it any challenge at all to to keep focus on the game? Is it? We're not getting involved in all that. We'll if we can play. We'll play. Um, obviously, we've got professional lads who, um, if they're allowed to go and do their own work in, in gyms, whether they're open or out on the roads, whatever it might be, um, they'll look after themselves. So whenever we give the, we get the nod um, to kind of start football back up, if it is cancelled, then I'm sure we'll be in a decent place. But um, it's difficult for everyone. I'm not going to stand here and say that um, you know it's, uh, it's, it's hard for us, it's hard for everyone. Just finally, if Tuesday does get the go ahead as Gainsborough away, what sort of a, sort of game would you be expecting against them, and what sort of challenge would they provide? Yeah, um, we haven't done any research on them. Um, generally, they they're um, they're a decent team. Um, it's not an easy place to go to, you know. If uh, 
again it's different for them because usually you go and they've got a, a pretty hostile crowd um, which they'll not have at the minute but um yeah it's um it's just one of them games that we'll do our research we'll come up with a plan of action and um and hopefully we'll go and, we'll go and pick three points up